हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द लेक्चर टू ऑफ द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पैरल एक्सिस थ्योरम परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस थ्योरम एंड द रेडियस ऑफ कैरेशन सो लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट विद द पैरल एक्सिस थ्योरम in this parallel axis theorem if we consider a plane lamina see this is the we are considering this horizontal axis as the axis aa and the vertical axis as the axis bb now uh, if we consider a plane lamina of area a the area of this plane lamina or the plane area is a and this lamina uh, in the the cg of this lamina the center of gravity of this lamina is at the intersection point of the axis xx and axis yy this is the axis xx and the, this is the axis yy so this center of gravity g of this lamina is at the intersection point of this axis xx and the axis yy this uh, uh, lamina is if we consider this lamina consists of an infinite number of small elemental component which is parallel to x axis so in the in so in this uh, if we consider one elemental component if we are considering one elemental component here which is parallel to x axis and the area of this elemental component is da the elemental component the area of this elemental component is da and this is parallel to x axis axis xx and the distance of this lamina from axis xx is y and the distance of this axis xx from axis aa is h see the distance is y between uh, this lamina uh, of area da and the axis xx is y and uh, the distance between the axis xx and the axis aa is h so the total distance of this lamina da from the axis aa is y plus h so if Uh, uh we want to find out the moment of inertia of this elemental component about axis aa see the moment of inertia of elemental component about axis aa so this will be d a h plus y square this is the moment of inertia of the elemental component about axis a a now if we want to find out the moment of inertia of the entire lamina about axis a a so the moment of inertia of entire lamina about axis a a so this will be summation of da h plus y whole square if we simplify this equation we will get summation of da h square plus summation of da y square plus summation of da 2 hy this is the simplification of this equation we can simplify this equation and we will get this equation now uh this term summation of da h square in this term we can write summation of da as a why because the da is the area of this elemental component and the summation of da is the 
uh, summation of da a, we are considering the total lamina of uh, the area of this total lamina so this will equivalent to a so we can write here in place of da summation of da uh, a so here it will be a x square now the second term da y square this da y square is the moment of inertia of the lamina about the axis xx this is the moment of inertia of uh, in moment of inertia of lamina about axis x x so this will be this can be written as i x x this is the moment of inertia of axis uh, moment of inertia of lamina about axis x x and here the term uh, 2h summation of d a y so this term d a y is equal to 0 why because we are considering the axis xx this axis xx uh, as the centroidal axis so uh, uh, the this uh, moment of area will be zero the moment of area about x axis uh, that is summation of day this will be zero because the axis xx is the centroidal axis so here x square summation of da is a x square and summation of da y square uh, equal to i x x this is the moment of inertia of the lamina about x axis and the summation of da y equal to 0 because of x x is the axis x x is the centroidal axis so if we put all these things in this equation in this equation in this equation now uh, if we write here the moment of inertia of entire lamina about axis a a as i a a i a a is the moment of uh, inertia of the entire lamina about the axis a a so that is equivalent to summation of uh, this uh, summation of d a h square that is a h square so this will be a h square plus and this summation of d a y square is the uh, i x x and the third term will be zero because of a uh, centroidal axis x x uh, we are considering axis axis x x as the centroidal axis so this equation will denote or we can say this equation is the parallel axis theorem so we can say the parallel axis theorem uh, is uh, says that the moment of inertia of the plane lamina about any axis this uh, here i a a we are considering as the moment of inertia of the plane lamina about any axis and that axis is axis a a that is equivalent to sum of the moment of inertia uh, uh, moment of inertia of the element about a parallel axis through its center of gravity g so here i x x is uh, we are taking as the moment of inertia of this elemental component about axis x x so this will be the first term and the second term plus uh, the product of its area and the square of the distance between the two axes uh, two axes so this uh, this term is showing the product of the area and h is the uh, uh, h is showing uh, the distance between the two axes so we can say this i a a equal to a h square plus i x x this is the parallel axis theorem this is for uh, moment of inertia of the component of the entire lamina about axis a a if we want to find out the component uh, we want to find out the moment of inertia about axis b b so it will be i b b equal to a if we are taking uh, the distance is a j j the distance we are taking j so it, it will be a j square plus i y y 
so this will be the parallel axis theorem second theorem is the perpendicular axis theorem perpendicular axis theorem now here if we are considering a plane lamina again we are considering a plane lamina of area a we are considering a plane lamina of area a and two axes axis ox and axis oy which is Uh, uh, both axes, axis O X and O Y are both are mutually perpendicular axes, and which is lying in the this plane of lamina. And again, one more axis, axis O Z, axis O Z, which is also perpendicular to both the axis O X and O Y. Now uh, here. we are considering again one elemental component in this lamina of area da this elemental component uh, uh, of area da which is having distance in the direction of axis oz is uh, from point o is r r is the distance of this elemental component from point o or from point origin uh, in the direction of axis oz and the distance of this element from y axis is x and from axis ox the distance of this component is y so if we say the moment of inertia of this elemental component about axis oz if we find the moment of inertia of this elemental component elemental component about axis oz about axis oz so this will be the area is da and the distance is r so it will be da r square now if we want to find out the moment of uh, inertia of this uh, total plane lamina or the entire component so the moment of inertia of uh, entire lamina about <coughs> axis oz so this will be same summation of D A R square. If we simplify this D A R square, it will be summation of D A. This R square will be this R square. If we apply the triangle, uh, if we consider this O, if we uh, consider here this is the small Z. If we consider this a uh, uh, triangle O Z. and this is small uh, this is uh, sorry uh, this is o a and b if we consider this is the triangle o a and b so uh, from this triangle o a b we can find out the distance uh, o b if we are considering this distance o b as the r and the distance a b as the y and the distance o a is equal to x so we can write here in place of r square as the x square plus y square so this will be summation of da x square plus summation of da y square so we can say the summation of da x square this is this uh, term denote the moment of inertia of the lamina about the axis oy this is the moment of inertia of lamina about axis o y and this term summation of da y square 
is the moment of inertia of lamina about axis o x so we can write here i this is uh, about axis o y so it will be i y y and this will be i x x so this moment of inertia of entire lamina about axis o z will be written as i z z so this is the perpendicular axis theorem i z z equal to i x x plus i y y which shows the moment of inertia of the plane lamina about any axis which is perpendicular to the plane of lamina is equal to the sum of the moment of inertia of the lamina about the two axes which are right angle to each other and which are intersecting each other at the point where the perpendicular axis passing through it so this is the perpendicular axis theorem the next term is the radius of gyration here i am considering a plane lamina of area a here i am considering a plane lamina of area a and in this lamina i am considering a point p on which the total area of this lamina or the total mass of this lamina is concentrated now i am considering two axes axis o x and axis o y these two axes are mutually perpendicular to each other and are lying in the plane of this lamina the distance of this point p from the axis o x is if we are considering the distance is k if we are considering the total Uh, area of this lamina is concentrating at the point p or or at a particular point in that condition there will be no change in the moment of inertia about the given axis uh, here if we are taking the moment of inertia about the axis o x so there will be no change in the moment of inertia because of this concentrated mass or concentrated area so here the distance of this point from the axis ox or any particular axis about which we are taking the moment of inertia is called radius of gyration that this distance of this the distance of this uh, point p and the axis ox is called the radius of gyration so if we take the moment of inertia about the axis ox that is if we are denoting this by i so it will be a k square so we can find out this k as under root of i by e so this is the radius of gyration thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures